50, 50 plus years ago, men were ready to fight for and die for what they believed. And that was the idea of freedom. Mm. And, and so 50 years later, I'm looking around with all these powerful people, all these powerful tools. We have the, we have social media. We can say and do anything. Mm. And I don't hear nobody talking, no freedom talk. Yeah. I see people, they want to, they want to sit back and go back and forward on social media, but they don't want to come and do the work to work with other black men. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you think, so you think, you think that there's less black men or black people that are willing to die for what they believe in cowards cowards mm -hmm. they get so mad at me i don't i don't care like i'm looking at we have all the tools to fight oppression and instead of fighting oppression we say i'm pro i'm oppressed <laughs> they stopping me yeah 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 man i'm That's for real like fault. like i'm aspirational i think that this YouTube thing, I think that social media has the power to reach people so quickly, you know? Yeah. I mean, my numbers from the last couple of days is, shit, you get 30,000 views, you yeah. know, quickly, quickly. Yeah. The message travels so fast. Mm -hmm. And so, me, I believe in building. I believe, like, the Black Panther Party was one of the most important organizations to ever exist. Yeah, I, I agree. I believe men working with men is one of the most powerful units that can ever exist. It was a very strong infrastructure, for sure. And so when I'm building a wonderful media company, the first thing I do is extend my hand to other black men and say, come create with me. You know what they do? What? Nothing. They don't show up? <laughs> Shit. They do, a, they do what a whole lot of black men do. Nothing. A bunch of nothing. Bump them, bump them gums, huh? Talk mm. about it, talk about it, talk about it. Won't show up. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you feel it. I know you mm -hmm. hit it right there in your heart muscle. Yeah. You don't have the courage to work with other men. Why? Because I'm that nigga in the room by myself. Mm -hmm. Get in the room with other niggas and are you that nigga? No. What's mm -hmm. up? Nobody wants to walk into Man, a room like that. Don't talk about don't talk like that. Why not? Because, right. because when you're fighting for freedom, you have to have a level of, you have to have a level of aggression to go get the thing that you want. Yeah, and people ain't passionate. And I ask these gentlemen, I'm like, hey, what do you want, huh? Mm -hmm. You want to twiddle your thumbs, huh? Mm -hmm. You, you want to say stupid-ass words, don't you? Yeah, they don't want to fight. Because what is their passion? And look, and, yeah. they, and they hear the word fight, and it sounds so aggressive. Mm -hmm. But, like, don't you have some intelligence? Like, right now, with the tools that we have fighting back with media, like, it's counterintuitive, like, uh... The only way that you can combat bad speech is with good speech. Mm -hmm. If I beat up one man who says a bad thing, there's still other people saying the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. And so I have to engage in conversation with this person. And I want to hear why you think what you think. And then I'm going to articulate what I think. And maybe we could drink a beer. That's the best battles when you understand what they understand. <laughs> You have to use their understanding to your advantage to get them to digest what you need them to. Humility is an amazing thing. Mm. Like, like I don't, I don't know everything. <laughs> that would require so much from somebody. I get so excited when I sit around powerful people because I get the opportunity to learn. Right. It gets me so excited to ask questions. I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. And expect to, to learn from powerful people is so much better than to like, you know, you can learn so many things from YouTube or reading a book. Like, that's great yeah. information. But when you, like, because people will give you, like, little tips and nuggets on how to accomplish the thing that you want from their own lived experience. Yeah, yeah. And that's when you get like, oh, shit. You know, you can't, you ain't getting this. This is exclusive. <laughs> it's exciting for us because we're, like, open-minded. We want those opportunities. But for the person that you're talking about, that whole nigga, it's like <laughs> they want to feel like you're going to do it for them. Like, oh, you actually want me to be a part of the fight? I thought you just wanted me to stand here and look cute. 